The scapegoating of law enforcement continues in the country tonight, but this time it's from the other side of the political aisle and against federal law enforcement. Since this show launched almost a year ago, I've been trying to hold accountable primarily those on the left, both politicians and in the media, who helped bring the defund movement from the fringes to the mainstream. I've done dozens of segments showing the challenges police in this country face and highlighting the difficult and often heroic jobs they do every day. Just a few weeks ago, we did an entire hour-long special on how many large cities have gone through the same cycle, taking funds away from local departments, seeing cops leave the force, crime spike, then quietly return the funds. I've repeatedly criticized left-leaning networks whose prominent hosts and analysts have often shown disdain and disregard for our police officers. Law enforcement who risk their lives every day. Well, now, after last night's FBI search of former President Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago, it's Republicans who are the ones telling us law enforcement are the bad guys. The FBI are corrupt and should be defunded, some are said. Now, to be clear, we don't know what was in the search warrant that the judge signed off on to search President Trump's home. We don't know what evidence they have or we're looking for at the president's home. Like I do in all investigations, I wait to see the facts before making judgments. I can try to analyze. I can try and provide perspective. But if there's wrongdoing by the feds, I will call it out. But I presume law enforcement act in good faith until proven otherwise. But sadly, last night and this morning, so many on the far right and Fox News are ready to immediately attack the entire FBI without any evidence that there was corruption or wrongdoing here. There has to be zero trust of the FBI when it comes to political operations like this. We're talking about three elections in a row, Mike, that the FBI has been heavily involved in on the side of the Democrats. There is no justification for sending 30 friggin' FBI agents to the former president's compound in Mar-a-Lago in early morning and conducting themselves this way or in any other cases in which they've done exactly the same thing. The FBI is corrupt. This is the worst attack on this republic in modern history, period. We don't believe in the deep state anymore. We don't trust their titles. We're not impressed by their badges. And remember how angry the left-leaning media was at James Comey 11 days before 2016. Everyone wants to hate the people who are making these decisions. It's not just the conservative media. Far-right lawmakers, who I've often agreed with on policing issues, now targeting federal law enforcement. Representative Paul Gosar from Arizona said we must destroy the FBI. Marjorie Taylor Greene not only tweeting that we have to defund the FBI, but also going on, on Real American Voices saying this. If they won't stop this ridiculous witch hunt on President Trump and his former administration and staff and supporters, then what has to happen is in a Republican majority, we have to defund and make cuts in the Department of Justice. And we can do that on how many employees they're allowed to have. Florida Senator Rick Scott comparing the search to some of the history's most brutal dictatorships. This should scare the living daylights out of American citizens and say, we have got to change our federal government. The way our federal government has gone, it's, it's like what we thought about the Gestapo and pe people like that, that they just go after people. What we, thought, what we thought about Soviet Union, what we look at Latin America, we have got to say to ourselves, this cannot be our country. Stop. The former president has not been arrested. And if that were to happen, they better have a really compelling case. I said last night, I said it again just now, I believe this is about more than a federal records violation. If it's not, I will call out the FBI and the Attorney General. But we need to wait and see, and not just first demonize law enforcement, including the entire hardworking agents of the FBI. We don't need more demoralized law enforcement in this country. And some on the far right have done this sort of selective support of law enforcement with regard to the Capitol Police as well. Since January 6th, when rioters attacked the Capitol Police officers, some have attacked those who put their lives on the line to keep everyone inside the Capitol safe. Conservative pundit Julie Kelly was on this show. We sparred over the issue. This is the typical police bashing I deal with from the left all the time. All the time. That the police, well, are, the police are the bad guys. The police are out to get us. The police are targeting us. And it's that same kind of nonsense that we're now hearing from many of you on the far right. When you're talking about Capitol Police lying and covering up, that's exactly what they've been doing since January 6th. 
It's nonsense. It's true that the FBI, not directly comparable to local law enforcement. But the reality is that everyone who works at the FBI and the Capitol Police has chosen a career in law enforcement. Many of them worked in local law enforcement before. They are American law enforcement officials. And let's be honest, people who go into law enforcement on the local and federal level are almost certainly not going to be far lefties. That group more typically become criminal defense lawyers or inmate advocates, not law enforcement officials. What I like to call the marginalized moderate majority want to support our law enforcement local, state, and federal. And we'll hold them to account when they do something wrong. But show us the evidence that the police or law enforcement acted in bad faith. Don't just tell me a cop shot a suspect, so that must mean they did something wrong. And don't just tell me that because a search warrant was executed that the FBI is corrupt and should be defunded either. Joining us now is Chuck Marino, former Department of Homeland Security advisor and a former Secret Service supervisory special agent. And still with us is Dennis Franks, a former FBI supervisory special agent. Uh, thank you both for coming. We appreciate it. All right, uh, Chuck, let me start with you. you know, what do you make of this? Do you think it's unfair? Some people are going to say to me it's unfair that you're comparing federal law enforcement to local law enforcement. But to me, law enforcement is law enforcement. And I want to see the evidence before I'm going to start saying, let's criticize them or defund them. No, I'm with you, Dan. And look, from the beginning, we've known that the defund movement was a recipe for disaster. And the numbers show that. It has decimated a profession of over 800,000 men and women. And it is basically put forth an environment of lawlessness, yep. lack of prosecution around the country. Look, I think Republicans need to slow down here, take a breath, think about this more strategically because they're starting to sound like hypocrites. They're going down the same rabbit hole that Democrats did following the death of George Floyd instead of slowing down and taking a more measured approach. And what the Democrats did during that time was they decided they were going to govern by soundbite. Defund the police. Doesn't this sound great? This will appeal to our base. And look at what's happened to the environment here in this country. It's one of law lawlessness in every democratically run city yep. in the United States. Yep. And Dennis, did you get a sense when you were in the FBI that it was, you know, filled with far lefties? Not at all. Let me say this. Speaking for myself and every agent I work with, I had no idea what their political affiliations were. We were picked based on a psychological profile that we want to do the right thing. That's, that's a core that runs throughout all of us. And again, it's about the rule of law. It's about applying that. It's not about favoritism. And Dennis, let me ask you, though, did you get a sense? I mean, you must have had a sense broadly about the, the politics of people in the FBI. I don't mean, you know, that you could say 62 percent. I just mean overall, what was the sense you got? Yeah, when I was there, I, I would say that I didn't really know. There was criticism across the board. Okay. There was criticism of Republican administrations, criticism of Democratic administrations. There was criticism. Yeah. You know, since since uh, retired agents, I have found there's probably more conservative than than uh, to the left side. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, look, that would be my presumption. And you know, Chuck, I just don't know a lot of people who go into law enforcement who are far lefties. Now, that's not to say that there aren't Democrats in the FBI. We know already that there are. They that that's a fact. But the notion that it's all being sort of run by these Democrats who are all out to get the Republicans, just again, law enforcement tends to be a right of center career path that people take, federal or state and local. Well, that's true, Dan, and it's, it's a false narrative to, to speak about it any other way. Look, you know, whether it's the Secret Service or the FBI, we're talking about the overwhelming majority of the men and women that are out there doing their jobs each and every day. These are the worker bees. Yep. These are not the people that put two feet on the ground as they wake up in the morning and think about what their politics are going to be any given day. That's not what we're talking about. And look, if there's you know, dissatisfaction with what's going on at the upper echelons of the FBI from a political sense, well, why don't they look toward Republicans look towards the Senate in the upcoming elections? Think about what types of changes they might want to impose and think about it that way. But, you know, to come out with these sound bites, it's just it's disingenuous. It's hypocritical. And, and the FBI is not going anywhere. 
Right. Let's, it, let's make that clear. Right. A, a, again, and I know I'm going to get criticized by some of the same people who have supported me about my support for law enforcement on this, but law enforcement is law enforcement as far as I'm concerned. Yes, there are differences, but in this country, we need to be supporting law enforcement, period. And it doesn't help when we start undermining, well, these guys, the Capitol Police, well, I don't like them. Well, the FBI, I don't like them either, et cetera. Anyway, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.